You can't gang! So this is an ABAS model. We're in an inflationary gap. Does so anybody have any questions? I love it. <laughs> What up, Econ Gang? This is Mr. Jager bringing you another one. Uh, the, today we're going to talk about Intro to Macroeconomics, Krugman's Economics for AP Course 3rd uh, Edition. This is going to be a great video if you are taking an AP Macro class or if you are taking any sort of introductory uh, economics class. So uh, first topic that we're going to be talking about is the business cycle. We can see here that the business cycle fluctuates, ups and downs. It shows the how the economy is doing over a period of time. As you can see on the horizontal axis, on the vertical axis, you would see real GDP. And you, you see the movement is very similar to that of a roller coaster. So you'll get ups and you'll get downs and you'll have this red trend line that's going to show you kind of the average of the, uh, the movement. Now, when we're looking at this cycle, there are different uh, points that we need to look at. The first one being a peak. That's gonna be indicated by the red dots on the cycle. And that's when the economy has hit a maximum in employment and near capacity output. So that means that a lot of people are working, a lot of people are spending money, uh, inflation or price levels are going to start to increase. If we look at a long run aggregate supply curve, we would be in an inflationary period, meaning again, price levels increasing. Now, if we go down the curve, you'll notice the blue dots. The blue dots are going to represent, or points are going to represent the troughs. This is the low point of the economy where unemployment will be at its highest and output will be very low. This means that a lot of people are not working and therefore, because a lot of people are not working, we are not producing as much stuff. So our GDP is going to go down. In a inflationary period or a peak, the red dots, we would run contractionary policy or we'd use contractionary to try to slow down the economy. And this happens from the peak to the trough. This is the point where the economy is slowing itself down or applying the break. So we are not going too fast. Now, if we are in a trough for six months or longer, we consider that a recession, and you would see a big fall in output income and employment levels. Now, expansionary policy or expansions is from the trough to the peak, so from the blue, the blue dots, the blue point to the red point. This happens uh, from the trough to the peak. At this point, the economy is speeding up. So either the government is applying the break or the Federal Reserve is applying the break to move the economy in the right direction. Now, employment, unemployment, and the business cycle. So employment, people in the economy working for pay. Uh, unemployment are people who are willing and actively looking for a job. Now, employment at the peaks, we would have high employment, low unemployment. At troughs, you would have low employment, but high unemployment. Now the labor force is going to include uh, the employed plus the unemployed, right? And by unemployed, you have to actively willing and actively looking for a job. Now the unemployment rate is the percentage of people in the labor force that are looking for a job. Now, aggregate output and the business cycle. So um, our output again at peaks is going to be very high. If we're looking at a PPC, it would be close, a point inside the curve close to our PPC curve. The aggregate output is going to be all the output added together. And that's represented in this graph right here. Aggregated output is gonna be correlated to employment, meaning that if we have high employment, we're going to have high output. So if we have a lot of people working, right? A lot of people are working. A lot of those people are going to be producing stuff. So a lot of people, so our output or what they produce is going to increase. Now, inflation, deflation, and uh, price stability. Keep in mind that inflation is when price levels increase. Think of when you are inflating a balloon or a tire of a bike. You are making that tire, that balloon bigger, right? And that is inflation. So we're inflating the balloon or making price levels higher or bigger. 
uh, deflation is when price levels decrease. So if you were to take that balloon and start letting the air out of that balloon, you are deflating the balloon, you are making price levels smaller, right? Or decreasing price levels. Now, economic growth is an increase in the maximum of goods and services a country can produce. Just an example of that is today's income is four times the level of that of 1960. And also in 1960, there were no cell phones, but now there are more cell phones than there are people. And that shows uh, economic growth. All right, so use of models in the economy. Models are essentially a graph. Remember that a uh, big term that we use in economics is cetris paribus. That is just Latin for other things equal. All right, just kind of want to throw out a special thanks to everybody that, that's watching my channel. Please throw me a like. And if you could please subscribe to my channel, I'd really appreciate that, guys. And thank you for all those that put this together. Y'all have a great day. Peace.